What's up, guys? It's Chance. Um, <clears throat> this is something that, you know, I never really, you know, I don't want to say touched on, but more or less, you know, why I never really, you know, talked about it. Shout out to David for watching, man. What's good, buddy? Shout out to Jeremy. What's good? Um, I know I haven't done a live, like an actual live stream like this on Facebook in a few days. It's because one, you know, you know, I've been really, you know, just sick with the cold going around. I wound up getting that. And then, you know, I just kind of, you know, fell out of it for a few days. And, you know, thank. I want to say thank you to my buddy Ian who got me out of, you know, just that dark place in my life. You know, I was in that dark spot for a few days and, you know, I just, I lost that drive. So thank you, Ian. You fucking rock, man. I am honored to be doing music with you, buddy. But uh, a lot of you guys may already know that, you know, obviously, you know, Lincoln Park's like literally like, you know, my top favorite band in like the entire world. You know, I've listened to all their stuff, both released, unreleased, underground, all that. But uh, one of the reasons why they mean so much to me is because, you know, when I was in high school, I was that kid that everybody, and I mean everybody, you know, picked on. Like, I was that kid that nobody wanted to, like, really hang around. And, you know, well, I wouldn't say nobody. Like, there were a few people that did. But for the most part, I was that, I was that outcast. Like, I was that outcast kid that everybody felt they could mess with and pick on. And, you know, and I didn't know about Lincoln Park's music until my sophomore year, I think it was. It was either late into my freshman year or my sophomore year of high school when I heard about them. You know, I first heard their music. The first song I actually got introduced to, uh, pardon me, sorry, I think that's. But uh, the song that got me introduced to them was their first hit single, In the End. And at first, like, you know, I kind of, like, liked it just to listen to it. You know, just to have something to listen to. I thought it was really cool. I enjoyed the music. But then when I lost my best friend, David, to a drowning accident back in 2009, and kind of that's kind of, like, where it all started. Cause, you know, like I felt like, you know, everything was crumbling down around me. And around that time, that's when I'm trying to remember what album came out around that time. And if you guys don't know, I am wearing my old school um, Lincoln Park shirt, which as you can tell, the skulls and everything on it are like totally faded. I do want to get a new one though, eventually. Like, I would like to get a new LP long sleeve. Um, this is actually given to me by a good friend of mine. So thank you. I still wear this thing to death to this day. But uh, for me, like, you know, during that time, it was like a really dark time in my life. You know, like, I just lost, you know, one of my best friends. And, you know, I just, I didn't really know what to do because that was the first you know, loss of a friend I've actually experienced. And, you know, I just felt, you know, so out of it and just so just destroyed and just like my whole world had ended. And, you know, a buddy of mine gave me one of Linkin Park's albums. Like, I forget which one it was, but it was the one that had Crawling and Numb on the album. And 
I didn't know about any of their other stuff. All I knew about was that one song. And when they played that for me, you know, their song, Numb, like, it really, you know, it spoke to me. Like, it really helped me get through, you know, that hard time. And just their music in general just, you know, really helped me, you know, get through the bullying, the suicidal thoughts. You know, it helped me with literally my entire high school career. And even after that, you know, with, you know, the loss of my best friend, Zach, back in 2015 and before that you know my brother bill who passed away from lung cancer and you know and around that time they were actually doing a live google hangouts through their site which you know obviously i went to because you know buddy of mine was like hey you know like why don't you sit down you know, try talking to these guys and, you know, see if they can help you. Because, you know, he was like, you know, I'll bet you talking to these guys would make you feel better. So, you know, naturally I was like, eh, you know, at first, but then I was like, you know what? You know, I've always wanted to meet these guys. Even if it is through Google Hangouts, it's still... Hold on one minute, guys. I'm actually looking for something real quick, so give me just a moment. Oh, man. Sorry about that, guys. I had a notification on my YouTube that somebody commented on one of my videos. But, uh... You know, when I sat down and talked to him on Google Hangouts, like, it really, it helped, like, a lot. They're, they're really nice guys. And, you know, they were just genuinely nice guys. That, you know, it, and talking with them, it, it really did help me a lot. And, you know, and I'll admit, even though I got to meet them only through Google Hangouts, you know, it's still, you know, it's something. And a lot of people don't really realize, you know, just how much, you know, not only, you know, getting to meet them and explaining you know, what was going on in my life, but to just sit down and just be able to talk to them and say, hey, yes, I've gotten to talk to these guys through Google Hangouts multiple times. Hey, morning, sis. Morning, Julian. But, you know, it just... You know, they're genuine, they were, like, they really are genuinely nice guys. Like, they try to help out everyone that they can, and even, you know, long after, you know, the unfortunate passing of Chester, which to this day still hurts a lot, because, you know, I got used to that, you know, waking up every day, seeing new stuff out by them, and, you know... Like, you know, Chester's music and his words, they really did speak to me quite a bit throughout high school and, you know, with all these things that I've dealt with. You know, and their music has taught me to, you know, just to be strong and to just do what you can, even in the darkest times. Nice. That's awesome. But, you know, like a lot of the artwork that I do, you know, not just anime based or comic based, but music based and stuff like a lot of my sounds, you know, are inspired by what they do. 
And I know a lot of people are always like, oh, well, you know, you rely on, you know, Linkin Park's music too much, da da da. Well, it's like, if you really think about it and what they've done, you know, you'll see why. Awesome, dude. I can't wait to hear it, dude. You're going to have to send that over to me. But, you know, a lot of the stuff I do, you know, is widely influenced by them because I've gotten to actually talk to these guys and, you know, like tell them about my problems and, you know, like what really goes on and they really understand. They're like they sit down and they're like, hey, you know, like we read your comment, you know, we want to talk to you. And, you know, like at that point in my life, like I felt, you know, just saddened by everything that had happened with the loss of my brother, my best friend had just gotten shot. So, you know, like, I was going through a lot at that time. And, you know, when they did that Google Hangouts, like, and I got the chance to explain, you know, all what happened, like, they really understood and they really helped me. You know, and they did tell me, they were like, you know, if anything, like, if you need anything, just, you know, tweet us, message us, and, you know, we'll point you in the right direction and do what we can to help. Like, they genuinely care about their fans. I don't give a shit about what anybody says. You know, if you really know these guys, like a lot of the fans and myself do, you know, they genuinely care. Sweet. And speaking of art, guys, if you guys don't know, I am now a part of the Art Alliance Cruise Art Lounge on Facebook. So shout out to the Art Alliance crew. I am beyond, like, just honored to even say that I even know any of you guys. You guys are huge. Like, a lot of you guys' art is just beyond phenomenal. Like, straight up, like, your, like, your guys' art, like, you know, I've seen your guys' work around a bit, and honestly, like, a lot of your guys' artwork, for those of you that are in the art crew, you know, a lot of your guys' artwork is what inspires a lot of my abstract artwork, and a lot of my different artwork that not a lot of people really get. So like you guys totally get it like a hundred percent i think that's awesome and honestly like i said i'm honored beyond honored to be you know a member of the art alliance crew like beyond honored like i've looked up to you guys for as long as i've heard about you guys so major major kudos Major shout out to the Art Alliance crew. Love every single one of you guys. I love your artwork. And I will be posting more today. Um, also, I will be starting up an art channel for a lot of my abstract artwork. Hell yes. You are 110% right on that, sis. Also, um, later today... I will be doing a live painting of some abstract artwork live for you guys on here as well as in the Art Alliance crew and on YouTube on my new art channel that I'm starting up. So be ready for some cool ass artwork to come out. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm so tired of seeing people say, hey, you know, like, you're not a real artist if you do digital art. Well, dude, it takes just as much technique to do digital paintings and digital pieces like what I do. Just It takes just as much talent and effort to do that as it does regular drawing. Because one tiny thing can fuck everything up. 
Yes. Like, I agree 100% with that, Brandy. Like, you're totally right. Like, you know, like I said, I'm very honored to be a part of one of the biggest, biggest art groups in the world. And one of the most famous at that. Like, even to this day, like, I'm just, like, beyond, like, in shock that they actually like my work. Like, that really means a lot. But, you know, like, now you guys kind of have an idea as to why, you know, LP means so much to me and how they've really helped me become not just the music artist that I am, but the person that I am. Also, me and Ian are working on some new stuff for you guys. It is a surprise. Unfortunately, I can't tell you. Although, Julian, Brandy, I may send you guys by email the song that we did. It's unreleased still, so hopefully you guys like it. It's really cool. It's more on the horrorcore side of things. Also, it's, it's kind of a mixture between just straight out dark and just horrorcore. So it's pretty cool. I will send you guys that if I can. Hell yes, dude. And like I said, Julian, I was very impressed when you sent me that thing that you did with my stuff. Like, I was very impressed by that. People started loving that. So thank you for redoing and remixing one of my songs, man. I absolutely loved it. Like, I still, to this, like, earlier yesterday, I was just sitting down just jamming to that. Like, it is that damn good. Like, I could not stop listening. But like I said, guys, you know, if any of you out there, because I know sometimes Facebook doesn't show everybody watching, but um, if you are watching and it's not showing and you are thinking about, you know, like if you are thinking about, you know, ending your life, I understand where you're coming from because I've been there multiple times myself, multiple times. And once you guys know that you're not alone, there are people out there like myself that you can reach out to. Like, there really are. There are plenty of people that you can reach out to. And if you need anything, like... Yes, definitely. But, you know, like I said, if you guys need anything, and I mean anything, you know, just let me know. You know, you can let any of us know. I can, dev I can be reached anytime. And if you can't get a hold of me, you can easily get a hold of Joey and Brandy. Shout out to Joey watching, dude. What up, Joey? If you guys don't know, Joey Potts is a childhood friend of mine. So shout out to you, buddy. Much love to you, bro. Can't wait to hang out with you again after all these fucking years. But, you know, like if any of you need anything, you guys can, you know, contact myself or... Anybody in this live stream, if you are thinking about it, you know, I just want you guys to know that you're not alone and there is a way out. You just got to be willing to put yourself out there and reaching out for the help. I know it's the hardest thing to do, but trust me, it's the right thing to do. It really is. Because I know multiple times I've been there, not just from being bullied. But, you know, loss, hurt, anger, you just feel like the whole world is against you. I've been there. I've done that so many times. And I want you guys to know that you're not alone out there. And I know a lot of you, like myself, are still grieving from Chester's death. Yeah, it's the hurt's never going to go away, but it will be easier to deal with. I mean, I don't do it as much now as I did when it first happened, but even still now, 
sometimes I'll be sitting there listening to one of their songs and I just I start breaking down. You know, and I know it's hard to deal with. I get that. You know, Chester was just as much of a friend to all of us fans as he was a hero. As you guys know, Chester was, you know, that was my musical hero right there. Like, that was the guy that I looked up to. Like, that was the man that I inspired to be like. Yes, and I actually have checked out some of the stuff you sent me, Brandy. I, I love the Some Fear None stuff, so shout out to you guys. I fucking love your music. Not even gonna lie, man, I love the music. <laughs> but, you know, like, I want you guys to know that I know what it's like. And, you know... Because as I said, you know, Chester was just as much of a friend to all of us, his fan base, as he was a hero. His music not only, you know, saved lives, but it helped a lot of people, including myself and a lot of you included. So I want you guys to know that if you are still grieving over it, you can reach out to me. And if you are still grieving over Kota Oda's death, you know, you can reach out to me anytime because, you know, I did work with him quite a bit. You know, I got to hang out with Kota, you know, both in music and outside of music. And honestly, he, there's just no describing, you know, what that man did for me. Like, he opened my eyes to a whole lot of stuff. Like, he was that guy that if, there was something wrong with the song that I didn't see. He would pick it out. And he'd be like, no, this is wrong. Go back, redo it. And he wasn't doing it to be mean. He pushed me and criticized my work to help me. Like, he was one of the few artists that was very, very big in the underground that actually stepped aside to help me and to just be normal. Yes, definitely. And I second that, Brandy. If any of you guys do do any kind of artwork, whether it's music, you know, digital art, regular hand-drawn art, because I know I do hand-drawn art a lot still. You know, I don't just do digital art. I do do hand-drawn, you know, graffiti comics and shit. So if you guys do do any kind of art, Message Brandy, show message the show message the crew for you guys and they'll add you from there. But you know, like I know a lot of you guys are still grieving over Coda's death. I know it's hard, trust me. When they did the vigil a couple days ago, I I lost it. Like I fought hard to, you know, keep my composure. And it wasn't easy. It was beyond the hardest thing I've ever done. But, uh, you know, if you guys are still grieving over Coda's death, don't be afraid to message myself, Michelle Biro, Dwayne, you know, anybody that Coda knew. You can message any of us at any time. We are always here for you. You know, we're we're a family. It's what we do. We look out for one another. But I hope this gave you guys some insight about some stuff. You know, I really do hope that this guy, that this explained to you guys, you know, not just why Linkin Park means so much to me, but how their music really helped me evolve into the person and the artist that I am. But uh, I love you guys, and I will see you guys later, man. And also, if you are subscribed, if you're not subscribed to my channel, tell me, and I will send you my gaming um, 
my gaming channel link for my YouTube channel. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. But uh, if you guys are not subscribed to my gaming channel, tell me and I will send you guys my link to my channel where you guys can subscribe. Um, I just literally did three back-to-back -back live streams in a row of three separate games. So that was pretty fun. Um, I am going to be doing some other gameplay of one of my personal favorites as well from old device, which is Arma Tactics, which is a military based game. So be looking forward to that. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. You already know who it is. I don't need to say the name. And I'll see you guys later. And if you guys, like I said, if you guys don't have the link, to my YouTube channel and you do want to subscribe, tell me and I will message it to you right away. Anyways, guys, I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream as well as in my next gaming video, man. Love you guys. Peace.